Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, a couple of things today. I've got a completion review. So, yep, my hashtag living the 30 by 40 life 22 is still on the go. And I have completed my starry night. And it's brilliant. But first, I've got some happy mail. Yay! Let me just pop that out of the way. So, I have opened it because I didn't want to show my address or uh, the lovely person who sent me it. <laughs> oh, that starry night's trying to escape. So let's have a look at this. It's come all the way from Scotland. Oh, look at that. And it's from the lovely Jen, Diamond Painting Gamer. So thank you very much, Jen. I don't know what it is, but squishy. See what we've got. Look at that paper. Very sparkly and pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, can I get this open now without... Uh, destroying it i've got some scissors let me find my scissors see if i can get into it you know what i'm like i don't like to throw anything away <laughs> the suspense da, da, da. Okay. Oh, oh i've torn it a bit never mind just uh, cut that bit off there and then we'll have a play about with it later <sighs> but what have we got what have we got oh Got another bit there, just cut that, cut that. Oh, okay, you're looking at this with me, I've no idea what it is. So, wow, this is a massive piece of tissue paper. Oh, it's so, oh, I can see what something is on it. Oh, I wonder why she got me this. I just can't imagine. <laughs> Let me just put that out of the way. Can you see what I can see poking through? Okay, we've got a good bit of uh, bubble wrap on this. I think Jen's getting her own back on me. Uh, I did send her cause, um, a big, I think it was 120, something like that, uh, diamond painting case because she's got a new big diamond painting to do. And I've got a spare that I probably will never use. I've got one. I certainly don't need two of the massive like suitcases. Um, well, they're not a suitcase, but... You know, Anyway, uh, I don't need two of them, so I said to Jen if she would like it. She was quite uh, welcome to it, so I sent her it the other week, but I wrapped it in so much bubble wrap because I was so frightened it was going to get squished. So, oh, it's not coming out. Come in, let's get this. I want to get it in its little wrapper as well because it's got a little band around its dummy. Oh, this is gorgeous, and it just looks like my little Millie. Oh, wow. Oh, look. It's called a Cherish, ha oh, Cherish Harrison. How strange. Make a statement with our loyal Scotty Dog tea towel. Oh, that's lovely. And it's Harrison as well. <laughs> I wonder if that's the name of the person. Maybe they're called Cherish. And we've got Bernie. And look at the little Scotty. It does look like Millie. It looks like Millie, actually, when she's cross with me because I've put something on her. <laughs> Maybe I'll wrap her in a tea towel. <laughs> oh, it's lovely cotton. It's nice quality. This is going nowhere near anything that's washing dishes. Oh, look at it. It's got small to large on it. Oh, look at that little face. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you ever so much, Jen. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Look right down to the teeny tiny ones and then a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and some facing the other way. Oh, I've never seen this one before. I know a lot of people have a lot of Scotty Dog thing because I belong to um, a Scotty Rescue little gang as it were and um, quite a few American friends on Facebook and everything are Scotty Rescue and have Scotty dogs and even in Japan um, some of our Scotty friends across there but I have never seen this tea towel it is fantastic but as I say it will not be used as a tea towel it may even get hung on the wall because it is so pretty it's a blooming good size for a tea towel as well you must have big dishes up there in Scotland <laughs> Right, she sent me a little card. Let me have a look, see what we've got on here. Ooh, oh, oh, do you know this is one of my favourites? Uh, craft buddy cards. It's the tree or tree of life, I think it is. 
it's like the four seasons in a tree but it is absolutely stunning look at the jewels on that absolutely gorgeous yep uh, Jen is actually a craft buddy fan like myself so hi Liz thank you very much for the storage case and all the extras too it will come in very handy for my big paintings I saw this tea towel when I was out shopping the other day and thought of you hope you like it love Jen I just don't know why she thought I'd like it <laughs> but thank you so much and that will go on my notice board with my other cards that I've uh, got from people so yeah I do keep them all I do love handmade cards i think they're absolutely stunning but that is gorgeous love that one just love the colors and the gems the warm through to the cool tones it's just beautiful and then we've got a little bag in here as well so what's in here okay keep the bit of bubble wrap you know what i'm like keep everything so we've got a little dreamer designs but i've never had a dreamer designs canvas so what have we got in here? Looks like some little bits and pieces. Oh, lovely. So, oh, oh, look, we've got washi tape that matches our uh, tissue paper look. So we could be all coordinating. <laughs> little butterflies there. And a nice sparkly pink, hot pink, hot pink. Okay. And oh. Wow, glow in the dark drills. Oh, yes, we can always do with those, particularly coming up to Halloween. And some little AB whites. Oh, yes, you can never have too many. And some AB baby pinks and some AB aqua colour. Very nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can never have too many of these. I do like my ABs. And glow in the dark. Oh, yes excellent oh that's wonderful thank you so much jen that is really sweet of you as uh, jen said when she did her unboxing uh, it nearly brought me to well it did bring me to tears um just all the lovely things she was saying about the diamond painting community and how everybody helps each other out and how we've all become friends just literally from sticking little bits of plastic onto a sticky canvas basically <laughs> Could be worse ways of meeting people <laughs> okay let me just tidy these up and i will be back in a second okay so we are back to our lovely starry night canvas this one was uh, in part of a pr package from fan cells uh, i believe it's 3.99 on the website which is a brilliant price considering it has got glow in the dark yeah i needed some more gen and it has got ab's if you look here we've got yellow ab's will it show up yeah it will you'll just about catch that yellow ab there just sort of going around there and maybe if i lay it down it might be better we've got ab's all around here and around here and um, just sort of like a smattering and quite a lot up here as well now this is the first time that I've received one of these canvases that has like this edge so the picture goes over and there's no drills on it there's a little bit of sticky with it being poured glue there's very minimal stick that comes over the edge but yeah so it's got an extra edge and what I found was because sometimes particularly in darker areas um, I can't see drills brilliantly and as I've said before black drills and things tend to end up upside down because I to, can't actually see which way around they're supposed to go um, it's only when I look closely later on in really good daylight that I can see oh that one's upside down uh, but what I found was because you've got this picture edge it don't matter if you go wonky <laughs> So your drills are going to look straight, even if they're not quite as straight as you would like them, which is excellent. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. So that is something that although I was a bit, mm, that's a bit strange, I've not had that before, I wonder why they've done that. I actually do quite like it because, so say you can't see that your edges are maybe not quite uh, straight and your corners maybe aren't quite uh, as sort of like square as you would like them to be so yeah i'm uh, quite a fan of this now i quite like that 
rather than just going onto the because you can always tell when you have put in drills onto a stark white background you can see if some are coming over a little bit more than others but when you've got this lovely colour going all the way around the edge you can't tell so big thumbs up from me fan cells like that really do like that uh, I'll put a picture in as well of it from last night uh, It is glowing a little bit. You can see where the glow in the dark drills are, but my camera's, well, my phone camera's not that brilliant to pick up totally dark glow in the dark drills. Uh, it did need a little bit of light. So, but yeah, you can get the idea of where all the glow in the dark is. And it just makes it that little bit extra. I say 3 99 for a 30 by 40. And it's got glow in the darks and ABs and this nice edging on it as well. The negative, the only negative I came across uh, really was that it was the C and the D um, I know they are very different letters yeah the C and the D are nearly the same colour when they're on the canvas and they are both white and because they are next to one another because they're like the same colour family I did find it a little bit awkward in places um, getting the uh, the colour in the right place so I really had to be careful with the C's and D's but yeah it was lovely to do the drills went down lovely um no popping drills nothing I don't, is it just me or do you like rubbing your hands over the top of a completed canvas when it's done i just love that feel maybe it's just me <laughs> so yeah really pleased with that and as safe for the price you can't really go wrong i'll put the link down below but we are going to de-kit this one now so just grab a tray and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started on de-kitting. There was plenty of drills left over on this as well, including the glow in the dark and the AB drills. Yay, we like that. What's that? Oh, that's a cover paper. Uh, oh, there are the bits that will go with that. Right, okay. So, tray, tray, tray. Not organised at all today, Liz. Where's my tray? Where's my tray? Okay, oh, got a bit of mud dust in it. Let's put that bit of cover sheet out of the way. Yeah, what I, I did with this one, as I say, was replace it with the cover sheets because I prefer working with these uh, and just did a section at a time so it came together really quickly. It was very good. Okay. Right, what else am I doing? Oh, yeah, I want box number one, my rounds. So, as I've said, my rounds are very messy. Um, stickers are starting to come off and I've got some very very full bags in here so this does still need sorting out but this is more for when I feel like I've got a bit of time <laughs> oh was the cry but you never know I mean it's starting to come out sort of darker nights now and maybe not quite so much nice weather albeit autumn is my favorite time of year and we are now in autumn so yeah we'll see how we get on right so let me move this camera I don't really want to be tipping drills on it but uh, yeah just like looking at it it's very pretty okay so where are we starting we are at number 154 good old 154 it seems to be a staple of a lot of the paintings that i do it's like a, a burgundy color okay all right it seems ages since i've done a day kitting um i just seem to have been unboxing and uh doing experiments and uh, diamond painting really uh, which has been quite nice so anyway i hope everybody's well and doing okay um we've had the queen's funeral now that was uh, last weekend was it last weekend do you know i don't know where i am yes it was it was last weekend so it was a bank holiday here in the uk which means most shops and companies and things were closed um which you know, it is well, it's to allow anybody that wanted to watch the funeral uh, could do, or just for like a, an extra day off. So, um, yeah, we got an extra day off as like a bank holiday for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which was her 70 years. And then, uh, yeah, we've had one unfortunately for a funeral as well, but uh, yeah, it was very emotional. Um, it was one of those things I didn't think, you know, we said, oh. We'll sort of like dip in and out and watch some of it you know and we ended up watching most of it because 
I don't know, we, we were watching a bit and then we'd turn over and you, you didn't really concentrate on anything else so we just kept turning back and so we more or less watched all of it but oh it was very emotional and um, you know seeing people upset I mean it, you know it is love or hate them it is a family she was somebody's mum grandmum and great grandmother as well you know and great grandchildren and they all look so smart and oh dear all the people that had turned out to see it some people had queued for hours and hours and hours um, not only to just get in to actually you know go past the uh, coffin as she was lying in state um, and also uh, to you know see the procession she was carried on a, a gun carriage um, but yeah oh but the thing that finished me off at the end when she got back to like Windsor um, and she's going down through Windsor Great Park um, yeah it, it oh dear her pony was sort of like there and they'd put the Queen's favourite headscarf on the back of the pony on its saddle and uh, it sort of like lifted its leg as if to bow you know and then her corgis were waiting like at the front um, two of like the footmen were outside with the corgis well that just finished me off that was me done for the day <laughs> do you it's, uh, yeah it's uh, been a strange all week just do not ask me what day today is because i just have not got a clue i just don't know where i am i don't know what's going on with things being shut on monday um my friends come to stay because she's off work this week and she normally comes on a friday and she came yesterday which was a thursday so i've absolutely no idea what's going on uh, who are you <laughs> Oh right, this is an AB and this is a 444 AB. So have we got a 444 AB? We might have, but we don't have the colour on it. So it's not that one. So is it this one? Uh, it is. It is that one. So now we have a number for this one. Yay! Okay, so all my AB, it's Aurora Borealis it stands for. It's basically like a normal coloured drill like any of your other drills but it's got an iridescent coating put on the top um, and that's so that it just gives you that little bit of extra colour, little bit of extra sparkle. hope the camera's picking that up. So um, it just, I don't know, just gives a different effect to your canvas as you've seen with the starry night. As you walk past that, the picture now on the wall and um, it will just shine a little bit and uh, yeah it just gives a little bit of extra a little bit more depth to your picture so this one is uh, a b and it is four if i can write let me take it off this thing here that might be easier might it rather than trying to write on the top there four 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 okay so now I can do a bit of a shuffle. Um, that, one, oh, that one hasn't got a number on it. Okay. So we'll shuffle these this way. Oh, and 444 four, four is going to go next to 666. <laughs> so yay, that was good. I don't know why these stickers aren't sticking to these lids. I can only think that I've used some goo gone or something on them. Oh, something's happened because these stickers are usually really really good and don't come off things but uh, yeah so there's only a few now that I've not got uh, numbers for Um we've got that one one two three four five we've got six that I haven't actually got a DMC number but the others all have so yay go me <laughs> okay so yeah let's get these put away yeah, so I've no idea what day it is. Um, we're hoping to go to the Yorkshire Wildlife Park, so that'll be fun. Uh, number 445, 415, 444, 445. Um, to see the polar bears, and because uh, we've had a look and you can have wheelchair access around there. Um, I don't think we'll be able to go like on the grass with the wallabies and things depending on how dry the grass is, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I can just imagine that Hubby's going to end up with a monkey sat on his head or something. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear, it's a long time since we've been, so it's changed an awful lot since we last went. So, uh, Hubby's been wanting to go for a long time. Um, so I said, okay, let's, you know, let's go. If we keep leaving it and keep leaving it, we're never going to get there. Um, and as I say, my friends come for the weekend. So, yeah, why not? So, at the moment, Millie is uh, sat downstairs glued to my friend because... You know, we uh, treat her abysmally and lock her in a cupboard and give her no love or attention or anything. Um, so when somebody new comes to the house, she has to snuggle up to them and say, oh, just love me because I don't get any at home, you know. Um, and she eats everything around the house as well. Um, all her treats and everything that she's had buried in corners for weeks. Anybody comes to the house, she'll bring it out and eat it in front of them as if to say, I'm having to eat this. It doesn't matter how old it is, but they don't feed me. They lock me in this cupboard and don't feed me. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Pets up. They're just great. Right, 747. Ooh, that's a aeroplane. Okay, where's 747? There it is. Our daughter's uh, gone on holiday as well, so it's uh, all go this week. I say we don't know where we are, we're in completely out of routine. Uh, Hubby's had a couple of hospital appointments this week. We were at the hospital on Saturday afternoon, would you believe, for his eye injections. They must be sort of adding extra uh, appointments in to catch up, maybe. Uh, so we were there and then we went to see the specialist yesterday. So we got him seen by the specialist, uh, which we're supposed to see them every year, but it's actually over two years since we last saw him. But that's because of the pandemic and all those things that uh, stopped us from seeing him. Um, he was generally pleased with Hubby's eyes. So uh, we're hoping that his eyes have improved enough um, so that he can go every eight weeks for his because he has injections into both eyes, um, which he hates. And uh, it's a good job he is in a wheelchair because I don't think I'd get him out the door. He'd be um, running and hiding, probably locking himself in the bathroom or something. Because he absolutely hates needles. So having injections into your eyes is probably one of the worst things that he can have done. Well, not one of the worst, but you know, it's not nice. And he gets himself all worked up and he doesn't sleep the night before and he gets all upset. Because it's like anything, the more you worry about it, the worse it gets in your mind. And then he gets there, starts laughing and joking with the nurses that are doing it. Because obviously they're used to people being nervous and put people at their ease. And he comes out and he's best friends with them and he's laughing and joking with them. And it's like, all oh, that fuss for nothing. Well, not for nothing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was uh, Monday. Um, as I say, the specialist was pleased. So hopefully if we go to eight weeks, it means we're not having to trips to the hospital quite so much. Uh, I don't mind going to the hospital as much as it's finding somewhere to park. And because um, Hubby can't stand, we need the width of the door to open so we can get the wheelchair there. It's not as like he can just get out the car and stand and hop or anything like that. He has to literally slide from the car onto his wheelchair and then to get him back in i have to use well i have to lift him quite a bit at the minute um but that's a whole other story but uh, yes so it, it's not easy so we have to have a wide parking space it's not a case of oh well we can just park anywhere we have to have the width because even some disabled spots um don't have the width you know they're, they're just like reserved near the door because it's closest to the door for disabled people but that's not always good because, as I say, you don't get the wider spaces always. Right. Mind you, I have been known to be very naughty and uh, just park in the middle of the car park and get him out and hold all the traffic up and be the one that does that <laughs> annoying thing to everybody else because I can't find anywhere to park. And everybody just had to wait while I get him out the car. I hasten to add, while I've been doing that and people have been sat in the cars sort of chuntering um, because they've you know been held up waiting for this woman to get this man out of this car, nobody's ever actually said, can I give you a hand? So, yeah. <laughs> 
I would politely decline because I think um, Ruby wouldn't be happy somebody else you know, handling them or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, they, they just sit there and glare at you and I just think, mm, well, whatever. <laughs> and uh, naughty me, but never mind. So hopefully uh, we've got another couple of weeks without. Now then, is this an AB as well? I think this is an AB. Yeah, this is a YG. No, it's not. Why has that got YG on it then? Is that glow in the dark as well then? Oh, it's got blue glow in the darks as well. I didn't realise that. Oh, goodness me. I'm thinking, well, they don't look very AB to me. But yes, so that's a blue glow in the dark. Oh, that's a new one. Let me have a look. So I've got white glow in the darks and black glow in the darks, but I've not got any of the blue. So we need a new sticker. Okay. Oh, I should really have a blue one. Um, oh, I'll put this one on for now. Oh, because it's a glow in the dark. Yeah, we'll, put, we'll use this one for now. So that is... 996. So it's 996 and it's a glow. Ooh, I like getting new ones. There's not many of them left, sadly. But actually, I could have just put the lid on there couldn't I but never mind <laughs> I've just transferred from one to another I didn't need to do that but anyway I'll keep them as they are now so yeah Ooh, I think I've got some uh, amber uh, glow in the darks from last year I'll have to find those because I haven't got them in here I wonder what I've done with them now I'm putting the label on the wrong one. Oh, do you know if I had a brain I'd be dangerous what can I say right I wonder what I've done with my other glows. Oh, look, it's got me thinking now. Where's my other glow in the darks? Oh, they're there, look. There's my other glows. Let me put all my glows together. So I've just got this little drawer. That this has got my uh, square um, crystals in. And it's got some of my quad cubes that I got from Timor DP Sparklers. I'm just thinking where I got them from then. And I've got some twinklers in there as well. So, but let me put these glow ones in here. So I've got all my glow ones together. I like to keep everything. So I know where it is. Oh, don't fall over on me. Can't be doing with it. So that's because I'm only taking one out. Right. One day I will be organised. Uh -huh, was the cry. I don't think so. Right, so. Ooh. Yeah, they're from the pumpkin ones I did last year. They're like jellies though. They're a little bit see-through. You've got to be careful if you get like the see-through-y type um, jelly ones. Because sometimes if the letters underneath are really dark, you can see the letters through. So it's not quite as good. But they're definitely good. Right. Put those back. Okay. Just made a, a little brief interlude there. Right, so now we want three sevens. So three seven, and we want 66, 65, 66. Okay, ooh, they're very dull compared to those, but never mind. We put them all in together. Yeah, if you are interested in this storage system, um, there's a link in the description down below um, to Rebecca at Zest's site uh, where she shows you most of this storage system um, and she probably shows it a lot better than I could she does all the setting up videos and everything for it and um, I have done a few unboxings and done a few uh, explaining how I set up my storage and everything but I'll leave it to the queen of uh, organization which is Rebecca because she's very very good at it Okay, 3843, so we wanted 38 now, and we want 43. All these lovely blue colours. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. Uh, the two ladies that won the first two prizes from my uh, hashtag living the 30 by 40 life 22 have come forward. So congratulations, ladies, and your parcels will be going out to you shortly. Uh, there was just one lady that said she was so excited that she'd seen her 
uh, picture in the video clip in the uh, slideshow that I did of everybody's uh, completion so far that she forgot to look at the other one to say hold one. <laughs> so I did give her a little nudge this morning and just say, oi, <laughs> you might want to go and just watch this uh, video. So yeah. Uh, and there will be another giveaway coming up so i think i'm going to do possibly uh, two possibly three giveaways after the 30th of september i think that will be easier rather than doing another one now so keep getting your entries in um again if you've got any uh, that you can't post to instagram for whatever reason then either facebook message me or my email address is down below and i will continue to add them on and then i'll do one big slideshow at the end with everybody's completions uh, and hopefully i'll have more than two because i did say i was trying to do between two and four uh, sorry between four and five this month and uh, yeah we're sort of like two thirds of the way through and i've just completed my second so i do need to do quite a few right so this one is five two hundred glow so yep yeah, that's same as that they always look i always think the glow in the dark ones do look a little bit creamy um but then once they start glowing they're green so right there's two people downstairs and i'm filming and they're completely ignoring the telephone so i don't know why ah somebody's got it now that's good <laughs> oh dear yeah, I know hubby can't just sort of like leap up and get the telephone, but well, that was quite a quick uh, little kitten up and a lovely parcel from uh, the wonderful Jen, which is just oh, wonderful. Um, I've shown Millie the tea towel and it gets the pause up of approval. So yeah, once we've got something in the house, Millie has to inspect everything. Okay, I'll take that out of there. We now have a little storage case ready for the next kitten up, which I may be doing shortly because I do need to get one done. Uh, put those bits there to go in my log book. That's my lovely starry night. Okay, well, that's uh, me done for now. Uh, if you've enjoyed this little chat and looking at these with me, then a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Don't forget to go and check out uh, Diamond Painting Gamer. She's great fun. She's just reached her 500 subscribers. So congratulations, Jen, a big milestone. And if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below, as always, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Press this subscribe button down here and the all notifications bell. And then you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. And yeah, it's a subscriber giveaway. So anybody that completes a 30 by 40 canvas and either sends it the picture to me or puts it on the hashtag for Instagram, put it on the screen, uh, then yeah, you'll be entered into the draw, which will be just after the 30th of September. And there'll be at least two prizes. So keep watching. Okay. Well, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.